LastPass business users have the option to use multi-factor authentication to secure their login to their LastPass vault. However, should your administrator need to reset shared secrets on accounts that require the use of MFA, it will affect those using Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, LastPass Authenticator, and Grid. If you're one of those users, you'll immediately be logged out of your account. When you attempt to log back in, you'll receive an error advising you to check your email for a notification from LastPass. The notification will state that your login attempt was blocked. In order to unblock it, you'll first need to click on Verify New Device or Location. Once you've made this verification, you can then log back into your vault where you'll be requested to set up an authenticator. This should be the authenticator you were previously using, and we have several videos available to advise you on how to do this with different authenticators, but for this video, we'll be enabling LastPass Authenticator. Click Continue to set up multi-factor authentication, then you'll start the process with Setup Mobile App. You should already have the app on your mobile device ready to go with the previous secret key set up, so next, we'll use the QR code to pair the Authenticator app with your account. In the app, press the plus in the top right and scan the QR code. The new secret key will overwrite the old one and is now added to your Authenticator. Unlike other authenticators, the LastPass Authenticator requires a backup option such as a phone number for text messages. Enter the phone number, and then once you receive the code, confirm the phone number with the code that was sent. That's it. Now we can activate, and your account is paired with the Authenticator. You can continue to log in using your Authenticator with the new secret key. If you need additional assistance with multi-factor authentication, please do see those specific videos. They can be found on our website at support.lastpass.com.